Hi, I'm Nat Nichols. I'm the author of This Party of the Sock Things, a small 70-page graphic poem about how the world is going to be changing after human beings disappear from the planet. It was based on a book that I read called The World Without Us by um, Alan Weissman, and it is a... Um, it's a heavily researched comic poem. I started thinking about what was going to happen if we'd actually taken it too far and we've destroyed the planet for human life. And I know this sounds depressing. It's actually not a depressing story at all. I feel like it's really hopeful to know that if humans disappear tomorrow, we haven't taken things so far that the world can't recover from it in a lot of ways. Some things are think some things are probably gone forever, but there's a lot of things that are going to recover. And there's a lot of beauty that could continue that we haven't actually pushed everything beyond, um, beyond all sustainable life at this point. <laughs> so, um, so I'm going to go ahead and read from the, from the, from the book. There's plastic everywhere and somewhere someone is making more of it. This choking time, our future end. Thankfully, we won't be around to ruin things forever. I practice my mourning, remembering to fall in love easily with the woods, the trails. Even the streets that cross them have something. I look both ways and fall in love with the road too. Every raised rock hides an empire of potato bugs squinting into the light. Give up, let us unbuild you. I like that, I say, but in a whisper. They and I know to become invisible is not to be nothing. All of the strongest things are unseen. I mean love, of course, and time and disease. I set the rock back down. The potato bugs are patient. I owe my survival to my old relative's bones, my monstrous gulping hunger to my family's song for more. Time and disease start humming along love harmonizing on the chorus. Two miles through these woods, I have knives that will outlive democracy. Soon enough we'll be beyond cakes, nothing sliced in celebration, just a sea salt smoked honey sunshine. Water will repossess my house and furnish it with mold and frog song. Conquer my collection of poetry and cartography, drink my birthday whiskey. Sanction bonobos and bees to handle the serious work, the rulers of the sanguine. The balance of grass, deer, and coyote will dance, and I'm going to miss it. This party of the soft things. A world devoured by lilacs. Oh, these glorious good days. On bad days, I see bodies on a beach, our legacy of doors and fences. The unliving decay is so magnetic crumbling palaces disappearing into dust. It's like imagining the worst for a man who has forgotten me, when he's better off covered in salal and blackberries, running wild through nettle-coated woods, courting coyotes. I know that in human time we will not fix all of this, but the rocks may not even notice. Silt will reclaim Texas. The swamps will rise again. Mosquitoes will annex their kingdom, their men pollinating a virgin world of flowers from the megaplexes of truck tires, a buzzing Sunday justice. We need new predators, they chorus, to keep up with all this bounty. Maybe giant sloths will return. Unending fingers on my chipped Nashville mug, a mystic relic once again filled with potent mud. I angle home, my neighbors on their porches with wine, my old mailbox. It isn't a lot, but I already miss it. This wildness, now a tourist mecca. The forest is history's Mobius strip, pressing collectively, daydreaming in geological time. I don't feel frantic. Like the last stages of drowning, struggling a little, but mostly floating, sinking, and remembering, gulping water into my lungs with joy. The bull kelp tells me it never studied dance formally, it lets the sea eternally lead it. We move together. I tell it it's beautiful, our limbs entangle. Above us, 
cliffs and grays and browns woven by eras. In a thousand decades, Bison will reveal this disintegrating pages and recognize how beautifully and briefly everything was loved by me. This will become a memory of words and cake, imitation vanilla, rotting pages, and the world before all this bird song, all these sharks, all this unbearable beauty. We would just be so astonished at what has replaced our plastic bag empire. What I mean is, this was made to be missed. I hope this fractures your heart open. Seed-like, to sprout again, just to see.